videos and today we're doing something different we're going to show you how to make a uh, trackmania skin in gimp uh, this is of course in english unlike most of the tutorials which are in french or german which is kind of annoying but what can you do about it um <laughs> so for this you're going to need the uh, uh diff no not diffuse the dot dds converter add-on thingy for gimp uh, i'll try and get a link in the description and yeah, so first we're going to jump into documents, Steam, uh, this is if you got it on Steam, I imagine if you just find your uh, game data with skins and vehicles and stadium here, if you just find this somewhere else, it should be all good. What I'm going to do is copy the .gbm uh, to documents and trackmania skins vehicle stadium car and i've got an edit editing folder just for editing cars <laughs> of course so we've got to extract it and uh, here we have the diffuse dot dds and the icon i'm not sure if that's a dds but whatever <laughs> from here we're going to jump back into it and Go and open it in here. That's not the right thing at all. <laughs> um, let's just. I can't. Mm. Right, I'm gonna. Somehow. Some, no, no. It's not what I want. Um, then head up. <laughs> right, we're gonna go and find it. Um, open. Where is it? Uh, documents. Trackmania. Uh, skins, vehicle, stadium car, editing folder. It's not there. Uh, all files. Uh, GBR and a few store DDS. I'm going to jump into here. And here we go. We've got the custom. No, no we haven't got the diffuse uh, for the Great Britain car, of course. Um, so we're just going to make a very simple sort of design here, it's nothing fancy, I'm not very with you. I'm going to cut that, I'm going to paste it into here, I'm going to select new, because make it into a pasted layer, uh, that doesn't actually matter in the end. <laughs> if I can just turn the opacity down so I can see through where this lines up, uh, that's rubbish. Uh, let's just enlarge it as much as you shouldn't. Let's just do it. J just to cover the whole screen. There we go. As much as you shouldn't do that because it, it takes down the resolution, it will. It doesn't really matter in this scenario. Right, there we go. Uh, I'll, just, I'll bring it back down. And we'll uh, just position the horse head somewhere on the side. There we go. It's quite nice. So, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to flatten the image. We don't need to do this, but I do because we've got all these layers. Uh, we're going to go to Colorify and just press OK, make a grayscale of it. From here, you can export as uh, alpha, call it alpha, and dot BMP because bitmap. <laughs> And then we just undo all of this, uh, not all of it, undo until the final point of selection, which is there. Uh, then we're going to go and close that because we don't need it. And open alpha.bmp. There we go. So we've got a uh, normal colored one and we've got the grayscale version. Of course, this isn't the best idea because we've got, you can't see through it but it still works if you just follow the steps uh, from here we're going to go to mask a uh, layer mask add layer mask uh, layers alpha channel and and here you can see we've got a uh, alpha channel uh, and we're going to select all and cut i'm going to paste that into there we've got a floating layer here we want it to go into there so we just go uh, anchor layer and there it is and here we're pretty much done now so if we export it as diffuse dot uh, dot dds uh, yes that's replacing it 
because we don't want it anymore. Go to compression VC3 slash DXT5 DXT even. Uh, generate mitmaps and save. And if we just just jump in, uh, we just close everything down. Jump into Trap Mania Nations forever. This won't work yet because I've missed out. Go away. Uh, cancel. Oh, it did it anyway. <laughs> if I just go to here, ah, perfect. And we go new compressed folder. I'm just going to keep it as new compressed folder. If we just copy all of it, we don't need that in there. Uh, we don't even need that in there actually. Hmm. Uh, just copy that. Yeah, copy both of it. <laughs> um, chuck them into here. There we go. If we jump into, if we close this down again, because it might not work now it's been opened without that in there. If we just, that didn't work at all. <laughs> if we jump on into Trackmania. So here we are in Trackmania, uh, for some reason having the uh, thing as full screen. Just didn't want to record on the monitor, on the monitor record, so yeah. Uh, anyway, we're here on the Trackmania main page as you can see we're going to jump straight into profile of vehicles and we're going to jump straight to the end and I changed the name of it to Nebula because it's much more useful if I can find it that would be handy there we go there, and here we go <laughs> as you can see the icon was wrong but it is of course uh, the horse head nebula on a racing car. <laughs> it's quite cool, I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I quite like the look of it. I think I'll keep this one actually. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we can have a look at some of the others then. Uh, there's this one, which is Ultimate Pitch Pink Deep. Uh, it's got a deep engine sound, so that's good. But it's got the black tinges on it as well, which. Uh, uh, pitch pink doesn't have and that's just got a grey uh, got a pitch black and pitch black deep uh, exactly the same and ultimate pitch black uh, yeah uh, all the details are just black uh, if you want I can do a tutorial on that uh, I've got pink brawn GP which everything but the details are in pink <laughs> and my final one, which is my current project piece, uh, it's got the 3DS logo on the back and on the sides, and it's negative. McLaren Mercedes, if you have a look. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, um, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. So, thank you for watching, and goodbye.